then you have to, to wait and, you know, throw this all on us right before the holidays. An employee of a local company says she was blindsided when she was told she wouldn't have a job next year. A buyout of Voice and Bynum, a Columbia-based lab company, will leave at least 50 people jobless. Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Spain. And I'm Jim Reed. Thanks for joining us. KOMU 8's Alex Arger is here in the studio with reaction from an employee who didn't see this coming. Today, Quest Diagnostics announced it will acquire Boyce and Bynum. I spoke to an employee who wants to keep her identity confidential because she's worried about getting fired before the agreement goes into effect. She says her division is being eliminated, which will leave 50 people without a job. And everybody was saying, well, I've already bought plane tickets to see relatives out on the East Coast, and I pay, you know, charged Christmas gifts on my credit cards for Black Friday and people were saying I made these decisions believing that I would have a job in the new year to pay these debts off and now I don't. I just felt like they pulled the rug out from under us. I know that they knew at least before Thanksgiving. Why couldn't they have told us before this? Quest has already posted job openings for this location um, as of November 21st. A few of us were thinking, well, you know, who knows how many people have already applied. It's a little frightening to think that you're at the bottom of the, the list. This statement is from a Quest and Boyce and Bynum press release. It says, in part, the agreement will go into effect at the time of the acquisition is completed, which is expected in the first quarter of 2019. That employee tells me the company told them February 8th was the estimated date of the acquisition, but they also told employees it could be a few weeks earlier. She's worried that time of year, right after the holidays, will be very difficult for many employees to find a new job. Quest Diagnostics said it has no comment at this time. In the studio, Alex Arger, KOMU 8 News.